Right, today we'll adjust the uh, handbrake on this and next trail. I'll give you some tips if you want to change the handbrake. First of all, because you will be releasing and working the handbrake and the front wheels and they're all put in gear ideally. If you've got a parking brake, well you will be working on it. Don't don't rely on it. Get some chalks, prop the front wheels before you get the back up in the air. Ready? So first we'll get our chalks in. doesn't go anywhere and then we'll jack the back up you know first get your car up remember doesn't matter how good your jack is it's not there to hold your car up things like that stands there to hold the car not the jack jack's only there to lift the car up not to hold it there car always needs to be propped up by a steady thing. Right, get the wheels off. Right, we'll start with taking the wheel off. No locking nut. Remember. Same on the other side. Once your wheel is off, now we accessing the hub. This car has got brake shoes inside. This is a drum as well as disc at the same time. So you've got your caliper for your brakes, for your foot brake, and you have drum inside for brake shoes. The adjusting point is just here. Normally you can probably tighten your handbrake within the cabin. I'll show you that actually. Usually vehicles will have adjuster behind. So you'll find that once you've removed the plastic surrounding handbrake, there'll be a bolt and up that can tighten it. But because we had the new brakes just fitted recently, they just settled. So we'll adjust the handbrake to the new shoes. What you do, release the handbrake and pull it up to your one, two, three, three clicks, and then you want, it's moving, that's no good, you want it to have enough resistance on your handbrake to stop you from moving it by hand. You can move it with one hand at the moment, which is no good, shouldn't move at all. Now, if you're planning on uh, changing the brake shoes. I've done it recently so I'll just show you how to adjust but if you do plan on doing it you remove the caliper first. Wrong bolt. There's a bolt here. There's one at the top. There's one at the bottom. Right now. Behind the brake disc. There we go. There's a bolt down here and bolt up on top. These two bolts holding the caliper on. So if you do these two bolts, you can slide the caliper, slide the caliper off the disc, and then use the cable tie or piece of wire and hang it up off the spring or something else. I usually hang it off the spring, and then remember that this hose. Does it stretch or pull that's your brake hose? If you that cracks, you're in serious trouble. You have to change the whole brake line. So remember, brakes are what's stopping you from dying. So if you want to change the shoes, you do them two bolts behind, slide the caliper off, the disc will come out or drum if you have to rim. And then inside you have two springs, one at the bottom, one at the top. What you do is release these two springs and the shoes will just slide out. Do you one shoe here, one shoe there, two springs, release the springs, take the shoes, put the new ones, clip the springs back on. And I'll show you how to adjust it in a minute. 
So first we have to remove the rubber cap to stop from dirt and grime from getting inside. Oh. Inside, trying to show you now. That's the adjuster wheel. The little wheel inside is what we use for adjusting. So by turning it one way or another, the brake will you either com compress or retract the spring, allowing it to touch the sides of your drum. Because what we'll do, when you wind it up, you open up the bolt with the spring on it, pushing the shoes tight against the sides of the drum. And you want this to be on the third tooth of your handbrake, just tight enough to stop you from turning the wheel by hand and then when you release the handbrake to be able to spin it. Right, let's begin. Now we're moving to the painstaking adjustment part. So, right, wheel adjuster, and I wind it up. Right, let's go get some of adjusting. Moving freely. Right, so what we do, pull the handbrake, three clicks, and see what happens. Okay, handbrake has been applied, three clicks. Can't turn it by hand. Is that my breaker bar? Stick with the breaker bar. Give it a little one more turn. Okay. That's fantastic. release the handbrake and see if you can spin it. There we go. Probably could go, could go a little bit tighter. Go. Tighten it a little bit more. Still spinning freely with handbrake off. Three clicks. Give it a go. That already feels tight. That's great fully applied. Try by hand. That's fantastic. Nice and free by hand. Three clicks. That is solid. That's what we want to hear. Put the prime bar. Perfect. Finish that. Don't forget the dust plug. Stop the dust, grime, and dirt from entering your brakes. Right. Now we're 
nice and free. Pull them three clicks. Solid. There we go. Easy. Try yourself. It's not the hard. All right. Let's do the other side and start reassembling. Right, we are on the other side. So remember, if that one side adjusts downwards, the one will adjust upwards. On the other side, we're turning the little wheel. I'll show you where it is. What is it? The little wheel. We're turning it downwards to tighten up. So on this one, we'll turn it other way upwards to tighten up. The wheel holds on. That's your brake shoe in there. There's a spring, if you can see. There. So it's these two brake shoes are attached by the spring. It's of a brake shoe. Floor just in the middle. That's all it is. One spring at the bottom, one spring at the top. All you have to do is take these springs off and you can remove your shoes if you're changing them. Now, other than that, turn the wheel and adjust it, and that's without stretching the brake cable inside or if access is difficult. Because in some cars, all you have to do is lift the lid up inside the cabin and tighten, it, the ha tighten up the handbrake. On these, there's quite a lot of stripping down. It's actually easier to take off the wheel and do this the, this way. So, right. Let's see. That job's almost finished, but when you are here, what is a good idea to do is inspect your brake pads as well. If you want to inspect the thickness of a brake pad, if you look from the side of the caliper, this is your disc. This one's ventilator, so there's a gap in the middle. It's either side of the disc, and then this side, that's a pad. That space here between the base of the pad and the disc, it's your friction material. Just go put five, six millimeters in there. But otherwise, it's a little bit thinner. So I do have the pads there. That's the pad pads. We'll be changing them later. So that's going to be a job for later. You don't always need to change it. These are just part of the job. So we'll be doing it. So that's your friction material between disc and the base plate of the pad. That's your inner one. Inner as a rule, wears quicker. Because your brake piston there pushes from inside towards the disc. So as a rule, your inner pad wears always quicker. So when you look from the front, looks like there's still a lot of friction material in this pad. But you often find that your inner pad is worn much further. So we'll be changing these. Well, that's it, I think. I think it's put time to put it back together and test it. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time.